Hi and welcome back. It's that time to forage, forage for our medicine. Looky, looky what I found. This is well lettuce. This is has the pain relieving effects of opioids without the addiction. I'm gonna pick some of these and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So give me a minute. I call this a score. Oh, that's a shame. The water used to be all the way up here. This is our favorite, one of our favorite fishing spots. Also one of my favorite gathering spots for foraging is this place. It has this. This is mullen. Mullen is nature's Mucinex. I'm going to gather some and I'll show you how, how I make um, my tentacures as well as you can make a tea out of this as well. It helps with if you have bronchitis, uh, it'll help release the phlegm from your lungs and, bron and bron bronchial tubes to help you breathe better. You can also technically smoke it like tobacco and it'll help get into your lungs faster. It'll uh, have a protection on your uh, bronchial tubes and lungs, kind of like a coating that'll help bring everything up, help you feel uh, breathe better. That's an old technique to help uh, get the medicine in into you faster. The seeds and the stalks and the stems have different uses. I'll go ahead and go over that with you. The leaves 
and take a look it's even sprouting new ones you can take these and root them but I've got plenty in the in my um, uh, uh, I have plenty of mullein in my garden but since this one is already blooming this is a three-year uh, plant I don't have three years in, in, in my garden yet. So we're going to go ahead and dig this up because the roots are beneficial too. Now that we're back home, let's go ahead and describe to you what wild lettuce actually is. Um, it's a le lettuce. It's what it grows in, the, in fields everywhere on the roadsides along with like the Queen's and An La Anne's Lace and you can tell that it's wild lettuce by if you turn over the leaf there's these little hairs hopefully you can be able to see these that are along the leaf on the back of the rib that way you can tell that it is in in the uh, wild lettuce family there's technical names I, 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 I can research them but there's multiple variations of this this is it's not necessarily the round one but it has the the ridges on them. This is a very powerful herb. Um, it's kind of like an opi opioid. It has that effect, but it doesn't have the side effects or the addiction of opiates. This will relax you. So if you have a day off, um, it will make you sleepy and it will make you sleep so make sure that you um, uh, do, do this at night now what I'm doing is I'm breaking this these up and we're going to go ahead and put them in the crock pot overnight we're going to put this in the crock pot fill it up with with water and we're going to keep it on low for six to eight hours you do not want to boil this you want to make sure you extract all of the uh, of the um, medicinal properties into the water. Make sure this is all nice and clean. You want everything. You want the leaves, the stems, and the roots. All you have to do is just make sure that they're clean. Make sure that there's no bugs or dead parts. And you want enough water into the pot to cover everything that you've picked. Because this is going to reduce down to almost nothing. Okay, put the lid on that. And we're going to go ahead and leave that till the morning. In the meantime, let's go ahead and go over this mullein. Mullein is a wonderful herb for, like I said, bronchial issues. Um, it clears out the phlegm in your in your in your system. It is a ancient way. One of the ancient uh, ways to use this is to smoke it. We don't. Um, we use it for teas and we use it for tentacures. A uh, tentacure is basically cutting this up and soaking in alcohol for six weeks. That's what you saw me do on the last video with the Japanese um, honeysuckle. Japanese honeysuckle is good for fevers. Uh, it's good for um, urinary, ur urinary tract infections. Uh, you know, basically any type of inflammation that you have, some mild inflammation like arthritis. I have arthritis all the way up and down my spine. Um, so I, I do drink the tea of it. Now, 
but the Japanese honeysuckle, uh, everything is medicinal. The um, flowers are are, are um, uh, can help with the inflammation and the fevers. The leaves help with the UTIs and uh, inflammation of the gut. And the stems are a mild aspirin type of herb uh, to, if you uh, make an, a um, tentage cure, cure out of that, if you make a tentage cure out of that, it helps with the rheumatoid arthritis. It acts like kind of like a, um, a mild painkiller but it doesn't have the effects of the wild lettuce. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean these off, wash these up, and uh, cut these up. We're going to, to dry some for tea, and then uh, make some uh, for uh, Tendicure to be able to use next allergy season. Some people even say parts of this are good for ear infections. I have not um, researched that yet. I'll put it in the description below if I find it. But you wanna get both sides of this. And then we're gonna go ahead and hang this up and let it dry. We're not put we're not putting this in a dehydrator. We're gonna naturally let this dry. It's been 12 hours. This has been sitting on low for 12 hours. It is extracted, all it's going to extract. In fact, you can uh, go ahead and strain this and the leaves are now edible because all that bitterness has been taken out. So I'm going to show you what we do to be able to um, get this down to a more of a medicine type of extract. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and straighten up the camera. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and it's, we're going to go ahead and strain this. It should be a nice dark liquid. into the pot, use some cheesecloth to get the tiny, tiny bits out. And the cheesecloth is good to squeeze the extra liquid out of the herbs. And you can compost this. Like I said, these are now edible. They're still kind of fibrous, but they're not gonna kill you. And what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a nice dark liquid tea. And we're gonna reduce this even further by putting it on medium heat and we're going to reduce this down without a cover on it because we want that to evaporate and we will be back we're getting almost to the bottom now I am going to transplant this into another pot and I'll let you know why now that we have this reduced a lot, it's in very dark, we kind of want to transfer it over to a pan that you don't care about. Now I just got this over at a um, thrift store for like $3. It's perfect. I'm probably going to have to put this on the smaller burner. 
if you get you really don't want to use your food pans for this you also don't want um, uh, the non-stick cookware for this either only because we're going to make a tar out of this or as close to a tar as possible and you don't want that non-stick coating to come out in the tar while you're trying to stir it so where it doesn't burn itself so I get a not a it and a non non-stick pan to be able to finish this off and keep reducing until you have a thick consistency then I'll show you what we do with that tar so now that we have this almost thick enough you see how reduced that is super concentrated all right we can go ahead and put this in a jar and keep it in the refrigerator and it'll last a, a little bit it'll, it'll stay good for a few weeks but we're going to concentrate this down a little bit more not too much and they're going to make this shelf stable a lot of people dry this completely out we're going to make like a really thick tar and add uh, some sort of green alcohol 100 proof minimum and then we're going to keep it on the shelf for at least six weeks before we start using it so this will be perfect paint color for next year okay and that is about thick as thick as we want it so go ahead and take this off the sh off the heat Find a jar where I'm using an old olive jar. Pour this in. Try to get as much of it in the jar as you can. Now this is super concentrated. You could actually just take a toothpick and dip it in there and suck on it if you wish it will take care of your pain I've been tasting droplets this entire time and now my back doesn't hurt so it works I have taken wild lettuce before but in capsule form and it does make you sleep. Okay, that is about as sticky as it's going to get. See? Nice and sticky. And then we're going to go ahead and take our grain alcohol and fill this about a quarter of the way. This is going to make about two ounces of Tenchicure. And you want to shake this daily to try to incorporate all of everything that was in the side of the jar. And keep this on the shelf for about 
six weeks out of the sun. See how that's starting to come out down? It's what we want. And this is now shelf stable. All right, so here I have my tentacures. So I'll go from the left to the right. This is the honeysuckle greens off of the vines. I have soaking in uh, green alcohol. Here is the mullein leaf. See how dark it is already? This is going to, all of these are going to sit for about another five weeks. Here are those uh, flowers, honeysuckle uh, flowers, soaking in grain alcohol. See how all the color is leaching out of these flowers? And they're actually turning to tur turn like a blue color. Okay, here is our wild lettuce tentacure. This has got to sit for about six weeks. I'm going to try in a little experiment. I did read on the internet that these seeds from the mullein uh, help with earaches. I don't know that yet, but I'm going to go ahead and try since I have plenty of it. Always consult a local herbalist if you are not uh, sure of what you have, what it does to you, and how to prepare it. There are books out there. There is websites everywhere uh, on what to do and how to do it. Even YouTube is a wonderful resource of how to prepare these. There are different techniques but the, they all have the same conclusion. Okay, the wild lettuce is for pain and for insomnia. Mullen is for respiratory issues. The, I do believe I read somewhere that the roots of the mullen help with um, uh, joints. So if you have arthritis, that actually may work. I haven't tried that yet. But I have tried mullein tea and it works wonderful. It is nature's mucinex. Mucinex is so expensive over the counter. And uh, you can just go ahead and go to the park and grab some. And that's how it's free. Why pay for something that's already free? Um, and then we have the Japanese honeysuckle, which helps with fevers, mild pain, and um, and rheumatoid arthritis. If you go ahead and take a look at everything that there is out there, uh, just take a look in your neighborhood to see what you have. See if you can actually use it. You can use it as food. You can use it as, as medicine. But make sure you are certain of what you have. There are lookalikes. You do not want to mess with that. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time.